Hi everyone, Stacy Whiter here on behalf of Campus Mortgage with a three-part video series on Fannie Mae's Day One Certainty FAQs. Now just a quick reminder before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice or used in place of Fannie Mae guidelines. Also, this video was issued on November 20th, 2018 and the information contained in this video is subject to change without notice. Fannie Mae's Day One Certainty is also known as the DU Validation Service, and it's available for Fannie Mae loans, and it allows lenders to validate a borrower's income, assets, empl and employment faster, easier, and with less documentation. Over these three videos, we're going to go over some really important FAQs about this service. So let's first talk about what type of loans are eligible. The DU Validation Service is only for Fannie Mae conventional loans. It is not available for non-conforming or government loans such as FHA, VA, or Rural Development USDA. How does the service work? Well, here's an eight-step process. These are the lender steps. So first, the lender must obtain borrower consent, so a signed consent. And then the lender needs to order the eligible verification report from a specific vendor. Now, there are multiple vendors. Um, an example would be the work number, but there are multiple vendors that the lender can use. And to find a list of what vendors are currently approved by Fannie Mae, you can simply go to this website, and I'll show you that website here very quickly. So here is a quick peek of the website um, where you can go and see the report vendors that are currently approved by Fannie Mae. Now, um, please don't use this video as a source to find out if the vendor is approved. Certainly these lists can change, um, so make sure you're going directly to Fannie Mae to get this. But as you can see here, as of October 22nd, 2018, this is the list of the approved vendors. And you can see here um, they have them for different things, for transcripts, for for assets, for income verification. There's lots of different options here. So you can definitely check this out on the Fannie Mae website for approved vendors. Now, after you've ordered the eligible verification report as the lender, you're going to review the report and validate any discrepancies. So you're going to want to make sure that whatever information that was provided by the borrower on the 1003 matches the information that you have on the reports. You're going to enter that information, that validation information into DU, and then DU at the time you run it will also obtain a duplicate copy of the report from that approved vendor. And DU will then perform their own income and asset analysis and compare it to what's listed in DU. Now, if um, whatever the results are, DU will return a specific message based on the information submitted by the lender. Um, so if they found discrepancy, things like that, you'll definitely need to go back to the borrower. But uh, the message could be income is validated on a per borrower and per income type basis. So that's definitely a good message that you would want to see. Um, or it could say assets are validated on a loan level basis. Or it could say employment is validated on a per borrower and per employer basis. But these uh, specific messages will appear based on the type of service that you're using and which items you are using the DU validation service for. And then finally, um, after that, the lender moves through the normal process, um, certainly with reduced documentation based on what they validated, and then they can close the loan and certainly deliver the loan to Fannie Mae. All right, that concludes part one of this three-part video series. Make sure you check out part two and three. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips and videos, please visit campusmortgage.org to look for their weekly mortgage video tips designed for all mortgage professionals, including underwriters, loan officers, processors, closers, and post-closers. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.